All right, we're looking at some live pictures here, and they are inching ever closer. I'm Jim Clancy alongside Rosemary Church. And Rosemary, it's a momentous occasion. It is incredible. It looks such a cumbersome vehicle, doesn't it? To, to actually think that this was bicycle parts that changed the course of history. You know, I don't know how much it weighs. I do know that they've tested it out a couple of times, and, uh, you know, they say it flies. They know that. They flew it right here. But, but today, course, so far, yeah. the weather and the weather conditions, and they do want the conditions to be perfect, and they're certainly not ideal today as it stands. I mean, they don't want this to uh, fall down. And it's a risk, too. Sky. It's a risk to the pilot because, I mean, obviously, there's, you know, you've made an exact duplicate of an aircraft that Orville Wright first flew, and then Wilbur, I guess they alternated during those four flights that day. But they flew it, and there was absolutely no protection for them. You build an exact, you know, copy of that, like they have done here, and what do you have? Okay, uh, I mean, you have an airplane without any protection for the pilot. They're trying to start it. Look at that. Indeed. And we're only talking about, uh, oh, here we go, oh, turning the propellers. We're only talking about a vehicle that uh, the first, uh, first flight Let's was 12 seconds, the last uh, not even a minute. We've just lost those pictures for now. We're back again. Just as they prepare themselves moving into position, they do have a checklist they have to work get through close. before they actually get it ready to start. So much anticipation as we watch this reenactment of 100 years of flight, the first flight of the American Wright brothers. You can see everybody being very cautious there, Rosemary, and you know, standing oh, away from the propellers, I mean, there was no electric push button there to start the engine. Somebody had to reach up and they had to spin that propeller as they're doing there right now. And I mean, <laughs> you step back when you do that. This, this is basic stuff, but I mean, tremendous amount of pressure on them to make this work. I mean, all of thousands of people watching there, and of course, all of us peering at them, not only nationally, but globally. One of the most difficult parts of this whole project is recreating history and authenticity is we realize we're dealing with technology of 100 years ago. But we want to do it accurately and perfectly. Again, looks like Greg Cohen is on top of the engine there. Certainly problems here with what they're saying is the most difficult part of this coordinating these propellers and getting them working there well you've got a lot of moisture in the air too it's not going to uh, you know happen in the first uh, the first push but somehow uh, these guys are gonna have to get looks to me like give it a little bit more oomph oh 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 oh, 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 oh there, oh, there we go let's give it a big round of applause the right flyer is, is running as we get ready to recreate history at the EAA right flyer Built by the right experience. At the controls, Kevin Kochesberger. And there's Scott Crossfield walking out in front of the airplane. Legendary test pilot, Scott Crossfield. Kevin is going through his last minute checklist. Listen to that engine, what a beautiful sound. Those twin propellers. Scott's checking the wind one more time. Kevin's coming up into power. What an exciting moment for aviation. What an exciting moment for all of us to remember. To be back at Kitty Hawk 100 years later to witness this historic attempt. What a wonderful way to cap off a year-long celebration, a tribute to Orville and Wilbur Wright and the legacy that they left for all of us. I see Scott checking the wind, like a right in position. Commander Wright Lane is out here on my left. Steve is in position for a photo to capture that historic photo and recreate it. Last no, minute special with Kevin, he's in position. position. The crew is moving away from the right flyer. Keep your eyes on Scott Crossfield in the blue jacket out in front of the right flyer. And there it goes! Kevin Kochesberger! Let's go, Kevin! He's going, he's going! He's working he's hard! He's working hard! Oh, oh. Started to go, Started just couldn't, go. Get the wind. couldn't get the win. As he made the attempt, let's hear it for the right experience. Hard to recreate history today. We're going to get word as to what the next step's going to be. 
it is, it's only a glimpse of how difficult it really was. And Rosemary, it also gives you an indication here, and you heard him say it, well, he just didn't get enough wind. It all has to do with that because there was a lot of people at that period in time in history that were trying to do exactly the same thing. Somehow, when Wilbur and Orville Wright went down to this beach 100 years ago today, the conditions were just right. First of all, it was much better weather, but the winds may have also been there so that that aircraft was airborne. This is when we understand how much the weather plays such a major part in our lives. And when it comes down to reenactments like this, of course, the pressure to perform today rather than to wait for the truly ideal situation for that liftoff. I don't know. Do we have a replay of that? Can we uh, replay the, the plane uh, uh, taking off or trying to take <laughs> off there? Because this is the heartbreak. These are the efforts. These are the repeated tries that the Wright brothers themselves had to go through before they had an aircraft that would fly. And, and even with ideal situation there back there a hundred years ago they only made it for 12 seconds that first time so mm -hmm. no lift off today now, i don't know if they're, they're going to try it the again it was going down uh, down to the see if they can do it i think they more or less told us they knots. made the attempt and that would be it you saw how they tried to go down uh, that wooden ramp that was interesting how uh, you know and it looked a little rough as it probably was for the very first one between six and seven knots here's the replay we're told. Here we oh, that was the end of the replay anyway. <laughs> it's the start and finish of it. Started to go and and the engines the come to a stop. Kevin Korschersberger, the, uh, the engineering uh, professor, uh, there at the controls of this uh, first flyer, the Wright Brothers flyer. We had an attempt, ladies and gentlemen, but we did not have a successful flight. What we have done instead is look back and seen an event a century ago that undoubtedly has changed all of our lives. And there were, of course, four attempts uh, this day, a hundred years ago. They may very well try again. We'll just have to see. Let's take a short break here on Your World Today. Stay with us. You're watching CNN.